Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today, we will learn about descriptive statistics in Excel. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master business analytics skills, and land your dream job, or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various business analytics programs. Simply Learn offers postgraduate program from Purdue University in collaboration with Amazon, Google, and Microsoft. Through this program, you can gain knowledge and work-ready expertise in skills like prescriptive and predictive analytics, regression, classification, and over a dozen others. That's not all. You also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts and top-tier product companies and academicians from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a business analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher-paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find out a business analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Let's start with the demonstration for today's session. So, descriptive statistics in Excel. So, firstly, what exactly is descriptive statistics in Excel? So, some of the functions like central tendency, mead, median, measure of variability, mode, range, box plot, etc. Such kind of functions are called as descriptive statistics functions. Now, let's say you find a data set in which you are supposed to find the descriptive statistic values of that particular data set. And you have to write down all the functions manually, right? If you want to eliminate that big task, that huge task, then there is a simple shortcut method in Excel. But how can we do that? That's exactly what we're going to do discuss today in this session so let's get back to the practical mode i will open microsoft excel so this particular file is my input file for today's session so i have about 10 to 15 decimal values like whole numbers you know complete uh, let's say this is the not the whole numbers these are the decimal values which we are going to discuss for today so the, let's say these are the input values for us for today and we are supposed to find out the uh, descriptive statistics for all these numbers like right which is a mean value average value etc etc and which is a simple shortcut method to do that right now let's select the values and go to data and here okay we have what if analysis so by default we will not have that here so go to developer options and in this developer options go to excel add-ins and here you can see analysis tool pack let's click ok on that and i think i'll be able to add it now so when you go back to data again here you can find some option called data analysis right what if analysis is being pushed a little to the left so now you have data analysis click on that and uh, in a moment you have the options here click on descriptive statistics press ok there you go now you have the input range give this particular input range to your file and uh, now you have the data in columns so columns by default and uh, yeah you can either create a new worksheet you can either create a new workbook right i will go with new worksheet or you can click the output range over here and here you can give the value i'll give a cell value here i'll give d1 and i think everything else is good to go and in case if you want the summary statistics confidence level right and k the largest k smallest you can also give that and press ok and there you go you will have all the values here just expand the rows i mean yeah expand the columns and you will have all the values you need and with that we have come to an end of this session on descriptive statistics in excel if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session please do let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to assist you at the earliest until next time thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from simply learn Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.